guys, it's Madeline. Um, so I realized that I talked about it on Twitter, but I haven't gone in depth about my time at San Diego Comic Con, about interviewing Once Upon a Time cast, and about meeting Colin O'Donoghue. Um, so I kind of want to talk about it. Like, obviously, I talked about it with like friends and family, and they're like, "Oh, that's so awesome!" But like, you guys get it because you guys are fandom and you guys are awesome. Yay! So. I go in and the, the press room on Saturday and I'm super nervous. Like, it had been three days of interviews with other casts, which was so much fun. Like, as a journalism student who's currently still in college, like, this was an opportunity that I never thought I would get. So, it's just something that I'm just going to keep talking about, like, forever just because it was so awesome. So... I go in and I, um, the first interview is with Adam, Eddie, and, uh... One of the, I think, executive producers or main producers, whatever. And so I asked him about Captain Swan and how their love will prevail throughout the season without Emma actually being present in, like, season seven. And they said there's nothing to worry about. Their true love is intact. And obviously because it's Captain Swan and they're amazing and their true love, like, I have no doubt in my mind that Captain Swan is going to be happily married still and living out their happy beginning so I am I'm not worried too much about that so then I interview I believe Lana and Gabby um after that and Gabby comes up to the table and she's like oh it's so great to see like all these women here at the table like it's so empowering we're all probably gonna start menstruating together and I'm like I already like her already. I don't care who she's going to play in the new series. Like, I don't care if she's evil. Like, I like her already. Like, just on standards of that joke. Like, on that, like, comment. I was cracking up. And I hit my camera recording already. And Lana had said something about menstruating. And she, like, looked at me. And she's like, oh, great. You caught that on camera. That's just great. And I'm like, sorry. Like, whoops. It was really funny. Like, I got called out by Lana. So, that was pretty iconic. Anyway. Next up was Bobby and Colin squeal. I was like dying inside because I'm like, oh my gosh, it's Colin O'Donoghue. He plays Hook, my most favorite character ever. So <laughs> I was super nervous, but I kept it under control because I'm like, be professional. Like you have to be professional. You need to get through this interview without like dying inside. And so I asked the first question about, like, Hook and Rumpel's relationship. And when Bobby and Colin talk, first of all, their Scottish and Irish accents are amazing. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, please just keep talking for, like, ever. And they're just really fun with each other. Like, they tease each other. And they look you, like, straight in the eye. And so you feel, like, super intimidated because you're trying to, like, hold eye contact with them. But you're, like, keep looking down because you're like, oh, my gosh. Like, they're looking at me. They're talking to me. Like, this is insane. <laughs> like... I've tweeted so much about wanting to interview Colin O'Donoghue and I never thought it would be possible. So sitting here having a conversation with him was a little surreal, guys. So the interview goes on for like five minutes and then I ask Colin about Hook's gripping style and he kind of gets like flustered. He's like, ooh, like I never thought about that. But like, that's a good question. And like Bobby's like, oh my God, that makes me a great grandpa. And they like laugh about it. I'm like, did my question just make Colin O'Donoghue and Robert Carlyle laugh? Like, what? And it was funny because I hadn't planned on asking that question. It wasn't one of my planned questions because I'm a nerd. I go in with all my questions written. It wasn't in my notebook. So that just kind of like came on top of my head. You know, like, I'm going to ask a question that's kind of fun. That's not particularly related to, like, Hook's storyline or, like, Captain Swan's storyline. I wanted to focus on kind of, like, Hook's character moving forward. Like, I know Captain Swan is a huge part of his character, but... Killian Jones is a whole nother ballpark. Like, there's so much, like, journey. And so I asked about his gramping style, which was fun. He's like, he's, you know, probably going to teach her how to swashbuckle. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, this just keeps getting better. This day is amazing. I live for it. So Dania, I think that's how you pronounce her name. If not, I'm sorry. And Andrew um, are the last people out I interview. And their excitement was so contagious. Like, you can just tell how genuinely excited they are. And it made me even more excited for season seven. I was like, oh my gosh, they're like awesome people. They were super cool and like super friendly. And when I asked like Danny, Danny about playing like such a iconic role such as like Cinderella, she's like, wait, who's playing Cinderella? Like who's Cinderella? And I'm just like, she was super awesome. And so I exit the press room and I'm like, oh, like Colin had walked out like five minutes before I did. And like if you catch them in the hallway, you can ask for pictures. 
And so I was like, well, that sucks. Like, maybe it wasn't meant to be. So I, like, randomly stopped in the middle hallway before I had to go to my Gotham press room to pull out my phone so I was prepared for the next round of interviews. And I, like, turn around. Like, I kind of glance behind my shoulder. And, like, Colin is, like, walking towards me. And I'm like, oh, my God. I was like, now is not the time to, like, chicken out. Like, when I interview, I'm fine because, like, I'm a journalism major, like I said. So it's, like, kind of, like my territory but like asking a celebrity for a picture like one that is like your favorite celebrity ever who plays your favorite character ever is a little scary so I'm like I'm just gonna do it because if I don't I'll regret it so I'm like hey like Colin can I get a picture please and he's like yeah of course so he like comes over and like puts his hand on my shoulder I have my camera out to take a picture and my phone freezes I'm like wow this is like super embarrassing so I'm like oh my gosh like I'm so sorry like I'm apologizing and he's like oh oh no oh my gosh oh my gosh and I'm like is he teasing me because this is making me even more nervous and so he's like teasing me and I'm like laughing because I'm like wow Colin O'Donnell he was teasing me I'm like I love it and so we take a I finally get the picture taken and he's like oh my gosh like you're shaking and I'm like I know because I'm fangirling so hard like I'm keeping this all inside I'm like I know I'm sorry like and so I'm like thank you so much like for like the picture your time stuff like that and he's like yeah thanks and he like pats me on the back and I like I'm like did Colin O'Donoghue just pat me on the back because that might be something I talk about for like the rest of my life that Colin O'Donoghue patted me on the back like that's like the first thing like I ran to like my friend and my sister like after interviews were done I was like guys not only did I meet Colin O'Donoghue but he teased me and patted me on my back like what the heck like I was fangirling so hard and it's just so great when you really like a celebrity and you build them up in your head about like you know how they're gonna be and they're exactly like how you're gonna be like he was so sweet and like celebrities like people don't have to like put you at ease like make you feel like reassured that like it's okay like you can take a picture with me but like he did and he put me at ease and it made me feel better because it was just like we interacted like it was fine and he was it was just fun it was just awesome and he's awesome and I can't wait to see Killian's journey in season seven and to watch it and I hope you guys will watch it too I'll be writing recaps on purefandom.com and it's gonna be a lot of fun so hope you tune in